So on the last video, I explained how I did corp and like why I use you know certain items and whatnot, and I explained why the Banner Scott Sword is just not good at all for fast corp kills in terms of uh, prepping you know the boss, reducing his stats, and the Artlet is just vastly superior as a weapon for that uh, purpose. So I guess I did not properly explain well enough because there's still a lot of people that still do not understand why the art light is better than Banner Scott Sword. So I will explain using. Uh, a bit of numbers and you know uh, just better explanation overall so for every single corporal beast kills you're always going to use five dragon warhammer specs okay so five dragon warhammer specs the first uh, reduction will be 30 percent the second reduction will be 21 percent you know so on and so on so after five corporal beast's defense stats will be approximately like 19 to 20 percent you either use bandos god sword to lower the remaining 20 percent or use the art light to lower the remaining 20 percent and a lot of people think that the Bandos Gossard is the better choice for that. So you can only use one Bandos Gossard spec, a teleport, because it requires 65% spec. And remember, it is not a spear, so that means whatever the Bandos Gossard hits, it will be reduced in half. And on average, you only do about 18 damage a spec, so that's about an 18 stat reduction. So even if you get really lucky and hit like a 35, which is like the best you'll probably hit at corp with the Banos God Sword, it's a 35 stat reduction. So let's contrast the Banos God Sword stat reduction to Corporal Beast to that of the Art Light's uh, stat reduction to Corporal Beast. So after 5 Dragon Warhammer specs, the Art Light spec will basically almost never miss. You'll maybe miss like 5% of the time, which is very little. And remember, the Art Light spec uses 50% of your special attacks, that means you can do it twice. All right, so you basically almost always hit two specials, a teleport, and even one damage. It doesn't matter if it hits like a one or a two or a five; doesn't matter. Even one damage will always, always lowers Corporal Beast's defense, attack, and strength by a total of five percent of its maximum stats. It's always going to be based off of the base stat of Corporal Beast, so technically, it's always five percent no matter what. So hopefully everybody has a basic understanding of like math and you know percentages. Uh, this will be super easy to understand. So every trip with the art light against Corporal Beast is basically a 10% reduction in defense, attack, and strength. Now Corporal Beast's stats are in the 300s, some vary from 310 to like 320. So that means every time I use the art light 2 specs per trip, the Corporal Beast's attack, strength, and defense will be reduced by at least 30. So that means 30 reduction in defense, 30 reduction in attack, and 30 reduction in strength. And that's a whopping total of 90, a little bit over 90 stats reduction per arc light teleport. So you can just compare the two numbers now. So with the Bandos God Sword spec, you can lower about 18 stats on average per uh, trip. With the art light spec, you can lower on average 90 stats in one trip. So just compare the two numbers, which is a bigger stat reduction, the Banos God Sword or the art light. Okay, I hope you know that 90 stat reduction is way, way bigger than an 18 average reduction. So if that does not convince you, then here's another reason why the art light is the better choice. So believe it or not, Corporal Beast actually uses melee as well. And let me tell you, his melee attacks are goddamn accurate and powerful as well, okay? It hits like 51 for a max and it's super accurate. So remember the Art Light spec lowers attack and strength as well on top of the defense. So basically by the time the boss's defense goes to zero with the Art Light specs, its attack and strength will be reduced by 20%. And also, I can use the Arlite spec further during my suiciding to spec it, you know, before I drop the food and also specking it during the kill for like a further like minus 20% or 30% attack and strength for the boss. So by the time I actually get to the boss fight, the boss's attack and strength stats will be only about 50%, about like 150. So that means it only hits half as hard, half as accurately. So that is why the Art Light spec is vastly superior to that of the Bandos Gossard spec. The only time the Bandos Gossard spec will actually be used by Corporal Beast is 
if you want to lower the Corporal Beast's magic stat to zero. That is, if you are an ultimate Iron Man or a hardcore Iron Man, that is really the only reason you should ever use a Bandos God's Respect. So to summarize this video, if you want to lower the Corporal Beast's defense to zero in the fastest and most reliable way possible, you would do it using 5 Dragon Warhammer specs first, and then 4 Art Light specs first. And the only time the Bandos God Sword will be useful for Corporal Beast is if you plan to reduce the Corporal Beast's magic defense to zero. And in order to do that, you need to land 5 Dragon Warhammer specs followed by anywhere from 20 to 22 Art Light specs. And then any Bandos God Sword special attack damage will proceed to lower the Corporal Beast's magic defense. And it is possible to lower all of Corporal Beast's stats to zero that way. And it will be useful for Ultimate and Hardcore Iron Man.